Tim Hearn is normally described as a potter, but really, he's a magician, absorbed by fire. How many degrees are you up to, Tim? 1,200. You know, it's, it's so elemental. This is, you know, wood, earth, fire. It's all here, isn't it? No, it is. It's fantastic. Even so, this kiln is only fired three or four times a year, when enough pots have been made using specially pliable clay from Cornwall. Intense concentrations required. It's physical too. What was it like having a hand inside there? <laughs> I don't know, I've never been a vet. I don't, I don't, it's sort of wet and, wet and slippery. But seriously. I think anything, whether it's in clay or wood or any other material, anything that's handmade has a sort of quality and a character of its own anyway. I think that's the quality of handmade items, is that you can, you can see that they're made with a human touch. Tim built this kiln himself, inspired by time spent studying in Japan and as an apprentice to the Somerset potter, John Leach. It's a long underground kiln, like a burial chamber, packed for a journey to the next world. A potter's life can be rather lonely, but then this becomes Dorset's hottest night spot. Yeah, a little bit like cider making that we do too. It's nice that people can come together and get involved in something really, which is, you know, is so sort of part of nature really. Oh, it's not all partying. Someone has been working like a dog. By this stage, um, you know, I've been up for, well, I mean, the firing's, this firing's lasted about 44 hours so far. Yeah, it's, I mean, I do get a little bit jaded by this point, but um, hopefully what's going to come out in a, you know, three or four days' time is uh, it's going to be worth all the effort. So what makes it worthwhile? When you make a pot on the wheel, there's, 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 there's certain pots that sing to you at that point, and you're hoping that you put them in the kiln and that they'll, they'll come through the whole process and they're still the pot that perhaps you thought was the, you know, the best pot out of, I don't know, three or four hundred pots that are in here. Tim Hearn's now been making pots in this magical part of Dorset for 13 years. Unlucky? No. Yeah, at this point in, in, in my life, it's, it's the, the best thing I could be doing, I think. Um, as, long as, as long as I've got the energy to uh, keep, keep up with it for, you know, for you know, a fair few years to come, I'll be very happy, I think.